ML Sports Take here brought to you by our good friends at Elevate Fitness of Syracuse and Burn Dairy. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Just an embarrassing performance by Syracuse against NC State in the ACC tournament. It is hard to beat a team three times, and I noted that about SU potentially facing Clemson, who got blown out by BC, which was awful. Um, but, you know, Syracuse had that challenge against NC State, obviously, and they hadn't played in a week. I'm not making excuses. It's just a couple of the things in sports that do happen uh, that have to be noted, but too many turnovers. They didn't get any key rebounds, really, it seemed like, and yes, I know the officiating was awful. It was so bad. A lot of it was on, you know, uh, against Syracuse, and I understand that. Judah Mintz getting slapped in the face when a player comes at him. There was no call, but then you have Judah Mintz who just loses his cool, and then he finally goes back in the game. He plays reckless. He's running around. He's doing this kind of stuff when he's defending, like, you know, come and get me kind of stuff, like back alley fight. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm done with the Judiman's attitude stuff. I'm done with his uh, nonsense and, and not keeping his cool type of a thing. I, I I agree with him that a foul should have been called, but you don't get every call in, in sports. And so you got to keep your composure and just go out there and beat your opponent as opposed to talking all that junk. He drops the F-bomb to the ref. A lot of times this year he's been complaining like crazy. A lot of times Judah Mintz gets calls. You know, he didn't get a lot of them last night, but he's gotten a lot of calls. Uh, in, in terms of, you know, getting to the basket, he's gotten some phantom calls himself and he's gotten free free throws and he's missed a lot of those. And we know how many times he's gone to the free throw line and shot uh, this year. So, you know, sometimes you just got to deal with that stuff and he can't deal with it. He's got attitude problems and he clearly went off after the ref. He went in there and started playing reckless. He's got to figure that stuff out. But Syracuse absolutely gets blown out. And if I had to pick one negative takeaway from this year at the top of the list, I would pick the blowout factor. <clears throat> I know it's Duke and Carolina on the road, but still, you got absolutely wiped um, at, at Duke, at Carolina, other multiple road games this year, and NC State in the tournament, and of course, the Florida State game in the second half. Syracuse was leading, I believe, by two at the half, and they got their clocks completely clean. So that's something Syracuse has got to clean up next year. You know, one rebound here, one turnover there, a couple of missed shots, boom. All of a sudden you're down 10 to 15 points. I mean, you just can't have that. I know college basketball is a game of runs, but, you know, to have that happen over and over and over again, something's going on there when you get blown out repeatedly. And Red Autry, that's a big challenge for him going into next season. ML Sports Take here brought to you by... Elevate Fitness of Syracuse, Liverpool Physical Therapy, and Barks and Rec Doggy Daycare. If you're in and around Central New York, drop off your pup for a day of play. Route 11 in Cicero, a proud ML Sports Platter sponsor. And as I always tell you, enjoy the games.